Welcome. And for our session, we are going to examine the accounting rate of return, which is actually an undiscounting technique for capital budgeting. It is used in determining the best project to invest in. Now, the question states, XYZ Limited expects to receive profits after tax for the next five years as follows. So from year one to year five, then they have profits after tax. Okay. The firm has a five-year project whose initial outlay is 800,000 and has a scrap value of 120,000 after five years. Scrap value means the salvage value, that is the value that is going to remain at the end of the five years. Remember, scrap value is part of the investment. So we are going to factor in, determine the project's accounting rate of return, IAA. Now, when you talk about accounting rate of return, we are referring to the ability of a project to maximize profitability. How will a project increase the chances of a particular business or a particular project uh, profits going higher? Then this technique, it uses after tax profits instead of the cash flows. And that is why we actually normally in a business, we normally account for profits after tax. Because after tax, after deducting tax, that is when now we realize whether we have made a higher profit or a low profit or maybe a loss. So it uses after tax profits. Now, the formula for I, A, I mean ARR is supposed to be the average after tax cash flows. In this case, we're going to get the average of this one. The average of this one divided by the average investment. And our average investment will be the salvage value, that is the scrap value which remains at the end of the project, plus the initial outlay, what was invested at first, divided by two. Okay? Now when we go by that formula, for us to get after tax cash flows, the average after tax cash flows, the average after tax cash flows, we are supposed to add 180,000 plus 260,000 plus 310,000 plus 240,000 plus 195,000 everything divide by 5 to get the average so it's supposed to be 180,000 plus 260,000 plus 310,000 plus 240,000 plus 195,000 we get a value of 1,185,000 divided by 5 because there are 5 years Divided by 5, we get 237,000. We're supposed to divide this value by the average investment. And I say that uh, our average investment should be the initial outlay. It should be the initial outlay plus the scrap value because there are two 
we divide by 2 so it's supposed to be 800,000 plus 120,000 that is 920 it should be 920,000 so 920,000 divided by 2 we get a value of 460 so we have 460 thousand for sixty thousand so we go to our arr now arr should be is two thirty seven thousand divided by four sixty thousand so two thirty seven thousand two thirty seven thousand divided by the answer should be 0 0.515 into percentage supposed to be 51.5 percent this is the accounting rate of return in other words the ability of this project to maximize profit is at 51 percent so it is above 50 it means it is able to generate some profit now if you are faced with more than two projects the decision rule is you accept the project with the highest ARR why because that one indicates a higher profitability thank you